Hey, what's up everybody? I'm gonna be doing a walkthrough of outfitting today, comparing Jackson, Waka, Piranha, and Dagger. I'm gonna be selling my goat, and so I thought I better make it happen before I am without a Waka. I'm also gonna cover Liquid Logic every once in a while on a few of these topics because I used to have an Alpha 75. So the first thing I wanna cover is just the number of holes. With Dagger, you've got the bulkhead holes, two on each side, and then you've got the thigh brace holes and you've got two on each side and then you've got the seat bolts two on each side so two four six by two is twelve piranha boat i believe is going to be the same you've got two two and two with the waka you've got two on the side um, but you do not have any for the thigh brace or for the hip pads and so instead of 12, you're just dealing with four. And then Jackson's gonna win the day on this one. No holes whatsoever. As far as how dry these boats tend to run, Jackson almost always completely bone dry for me. The Waka, same deal. I've never had really any water getting in this boat. The Piranha boat is basically the same. Those three boats have been very dry for me. Dagger on the other hand, I've only been paddling the code a few times now, but this boat is wet. Like, it has more water in it than basically any boat that I've owned. So really not impressed at all with the dryness of the dagger outfitting. And talking to other people who have codes and who've had daggers in the past, they seem to think that that's sort of the MO. The other thing to think about is what tools are required to work on these boats on the water, especially because I usually carry four mil Allens. Unfortunately, with dagger that's not going to be all that you need to work on these as you can see the seat uses a four mil but the thigh braces use a phillips head and then they use a standard four mil on this grab handle but all of the other ones use um, a security t27 actually it's not a t25 and i know that because one of them came loose which i noticed on another buddies as well it was one of these back handles on the piranha boats it's all four mil allens and none of them are security so you can do everything with the same tool same thing on the waka boats and then on the jackson boat you do have some different tools so here you've got a big number one phillips for those grab handles and i think I don't know if that's a four mil actually, that might be a little bit smaller. So a little bit of variation there, although I've never had any issue with their stuff being loose. I have had Piranha boats where grab handles were quite loose. Some bolts were actually completely loose when I got them. So first thing I'd recommend is you always check to see if everything is snug as you're going. All right, next up I wanna cover grab handles. Aluminum across the board with the exception of Waka who uses a plastic grab handle that is uh, have metal on the inside of it. They've added washers to where it connects because the issue was really always that it could pull off the head. Um, so I don't see a huge issue with that. Lots of room underneath them, so really easy to grab. Jackson's a little bit smaller underneath, but they're really, really comfortable. They're fat and, and rounded. Piranha, super nice grab handles. Dagger, not a huge fan, honestly. These are pretty thin, and so they kind of bite into your hand. If you're putting tie downs through here, they tend to kind of bite into the corner and they don't like to move around. Next up is bulkheads. So we're gonna take a peek in here. You can see that um, I've got two different pieces of foam for the dagger bulkhead. That's because they no longer provide a third layer. And so I had a leftover textured one on the right there. Um, and I cut one to match it on the left. The dagger is adjustable, like up and out, so you can kind of fill the space nicely. But I don't love how they have plastic pieces that don't really match the foam. So I ended up having to cut the foam to have it recess all the way in there. And then I needed to add that third layer, which they didn't provide, to not feel the plastic kind of pushing on my foot. Piranha's got one large piece, probably the least user friendly as far as like cutting it and getting it to fit really nicely. I like to take my time and use a hacksaw blade and I also kind of taper it so that it fits really snug. Both of these, I should mention, I've had people tell me that they've had issues with theirs. So a buddy of mine had a rewind 
and he snapped the foot pod. It was the actual piece that everything attaches to and it just broke while he was getting out. And then I've had multiple people with Piranha tell me and show me that their bulkhead twisted like top to bottom. So like if they pushed really hard on it with their heels, it would just sort of twist back. So Waka's got a different setup. They've got these kind of foot pods here. And at first I was worried about the spacing around them and possibly having a foot slip through. But once you get in there, you'll see it's actually a complete non-issue. Your foot is nowhere near the gap and really couldn't even twist that way to get through there. So I do like theirs. I like the adjustability. You can make it wider. You can see that there and really fill up the space. And their aluminum strip is better than Dagger and Piranha in two ways. Number one, it lays tighter against the side of the boat. So that means that it doesn't kind of bite into the edge of your foot. And then it also has more holes, like the holes have a smaller spacing. And so that allows you, you see the spacing is bigger here. That allows you to make finer tuning to your adjustment for how tight it is. And then Jackson is obviously completely different wins the case for sure as far as no aluminum strip to bite into your foot so very very comfortable um, and it just uses the pillar system and so it just you can pull it and it'll come towards you and you push it and it goes back in and then it just locks down into that cleat i'm gonna push it in there while you're pushing your feet also really nice if you ever want to do any adjustment like while you're paddling you can loosen it up and kind of stretch your feet out a little bit or if you want someone else to try your boat, it's by far the easiest for someone else to, to pop into and check out. And one other thing I forgot to mention that's a negative for the Waka is that that foot pod does not have any drain holes on the bottom. So I'd recommend if you ever have that pod out of there, you drill a couple holes into the bottom of it. Not really sure why they don't do that. And there's our obligatory count cameo out here helping us thanks buddy next up i want to cover carrying and step out pillars so the dagger boat is really really nice it's got a great step out pillar that's kind of recessed back in here you can see it's not right at the edge here um, and it's got a nice shape around the front of it for your hand to hold on to it's pretty comfortable on the shoulder piranha also has a very nice step out pillar um, and it works pretty well as a handle there's a couple ridges that they've built into the front of it that help kind of seat your fingers on it it's not great for carrying you can see that this is very sharp it doesn't come down at all here so that makes it a bit rough if you do not get the pad on there or some people have added uh, foam layers but it's a little hard to add on these because it is so thin right there waka is not too bad you've got some width where your shoulder tends to sit but it does kind of bite on the bottom edge and so you can see here i've added there's foam underneath this tape to act as a nice shoulder and then as far as the pillar goes you've got foam seems pretty adequate they did put a handle in there um, and i find it to be pretty useless they made it really really thick and so when your hand is on it, your hand is really wide and it's hard to hold something with your grip super wide. So not a huge fan of carrying this boat, honestly. Jackson does something unique where they add um, a strap, you can see right here, and that is for holding on to. And that does help, although I find that often it's like my hand is really tucked up tight in order for that strap to be able to be used. Um, and then it does sit your shoulder pretty nicely against the pad. So uh, overall, pretty nice. I would say that Dagger would win that competition. And while we're on that subject, it's worth mentioning that Liquid Logic boats are extremely comfortable to shoulder because they've got the badass outfitting and that padding wraps all the way around the cockpit rim. I would say, honestly, Liquid Logic might win the, the battle if we were to include that as a fifth brand here. All right, up next is seat storage. I like to store both a throw bag and a water bottle in this space. Dagger, not such a fan of this. So they've got this set up here and I tend to put my water bottle right there because I made kind of a custom um, bungee here. So I did two 
uh, one smaller bungee is down below and so it kind of pulls down and then there's a hole right here that runs through and so I put a fatter bungee right there and that works pretty well to hold my throw bag. If you put a water bottle there it kind of has a hard time because it likes to slip to the side. With Piranha they're basically already set up to do that. So they've got the strap on the bottom in that tray and then it comes with those two. Waka's going to win the day on this one. They've got a nice huge tray. It fits a water bottle and a throw bag perfectly right in there and flat, super easy to access. Definitely my favorite. Jackson, not bad. They've got a setup here with two, two bungees that I usually just put my water bottle in. And then down here, they've got two straps that I put my throw bag in. And I do not know why, but they made these so they're not adjustable and they're really, really tight. All right, next up is thigh hooks. And I would say that Waka thigh hooks are maybe my favorite, at least from the factory. They have a nice thick padding on the backside of them. And they've got a really nice aggressive hook to them. The only disadvantage is you can't move the location, um, but I've never really had a problem with where it sits. You can see here too, they've got the W for Waka. Probably my next favorite would be um, Piranha. And that is with the hookers added at least. And then I also added thigh block up underneath there. And that's a two inch foam block that just bumps my knees out, which I really like. Jackson has recently switched over to B's knees. Um, and that system allows you to kind of dial it in. It's got a bump on the inside. And then it comes up and then there's another bump here and i actually added that to my ozone as well and then we'll finish up with dagger who has moderately aggressive thigh hooks and then we'll also mention liquid logic because i found liquid logic's thigh hooks to be the worst of all of them um, really not aggressive at all wasn't really able to get comfortable in them all right next up is the seat so Dagger is gonna have to win the day on this one. First of all, they've got the ability to raise your legs up. So the leg lifter, they also make it really easy to access underneath the seat. It's just a little loop with this guy hooked under there. Piranha, probably the most bare bones of all. I do run some hip shims under there. If you're running them, I don't recommend you pull the whole seat up, just squish them through here and you can just make them fit. Waka, pretty basic. I found it to be relatively comfortable and I would say Jackson are quite comfortable. So probably Dagger, number one, Jackson two. The Goat would probably be number three and Piranha's probably number four. As far as moving them goes, definitely easiest to move the Jackson. You just pop this wheel out, slide it forward, and you're done. You can literally just do it while you're sitting in the boat on the river. Waka boats, you are able to move them, and I've done it before. It's just using this right here, um, and you can slide that around. It takes a little bit of work. The uh, Piranha boats, you have to take these all the way out drop the bottom block that, that these two thread into, then slide it forward or back. You have five slots running this way in there. It's gonna start in the middle with one empty in front and in back and an empty in the middle. And so you can move it forward or you can move it back one from there. And because those slots are cut this way, you can actually also squeeze the seat in or let the seat go out wider if you wanna tweak that in addition to your hip pads dagger you're going to loosen these up but you don't have to remove them and then it's pretty hard but you have to shove the seat and you have to loosen this as well and i have moved mine forward a little word on the street is that the code's been running pretty well with the seat forward a bit so that's why i did that i also have my scorch forward a notch i think the goat is neutral maybe back one if i remember right and i've got the antics back one as well Okay, next up, hip pads. Dagger has fantastic hip pads. They're super secure. They're in here with a buckle system. And I'm honestly just kind of blown away with like the level of detail they've got here. When you tighten this down, it has a Velcro tab right here. And there's another Velcro tab stitched to the back on the backside of the buckle so that you can take that strap, fold it back and secure it over itself 
so it really cleans things up you don't have straps dangling about and it seems like it'd be less likely to be able to loosen because it's being held back there like that so that is a really nice secure system like those do not move at all they're very comfortable piranha on the other hand i've actually almost lost one of these like it fell out while i was carrying the boat it's just the one strap it the the little loop lock on it doesn't work super well um you can see like the hip pads like to fall out of the bottom whereas with the dagger you're securing it from the bottom and then we've got double straps over here on the waka boats and waka wins the day for sure for their hip shims they go behind the original and they're velcroed on both sides and so they just lock to the side of the boat and then they stay secure right there really nice it does have a big bump out here which i know some people don't like i really like it it feels secure over my hip jackson maybe kind of comes in somewhere in between it does have the ability to secure it from the back and it's got some flaps for putting different layers into. Um, it doesn't really bump out at the top. I kind of wish it bumped out a little bit more, but it is pretty secure. It works. The They bulked up the top because these cables run over the top, the ropes do. All right, so let's cover back bands. Dagger uh, does have a really nice back band, but I don't love these kind of lines in here. Sometimes I can feel those against my back but really secure. It attaches with um, three clips. Piranha, um, relatively comfortable. It sits a little low standard. And so I've added the hack in here where I'm running through um, two loops instead of running through the seat. I'm running them up higher. So it kind of lifts it up a little bit. The uh, Waka back band is quite nice. It sits up really high. Jackson back band is really wide. And I know some people like to put the old one in there. Um, I've not had too many problems with this one. It seems to work pretty well. One other thing to mention is the Liquid Logic backband is really, really low and by far my least favorite. And while we're on the subject of backbands, um, let's talk about stern access, especially if you were doing like a multi-day. So with the dagger, you can get it really nice and out of the way. You get a huge opening back to the back and it's pretty high deck height. So you've got a lot of space to move stuff through there as well. If we look at the Piranha, You've just got that one strap, and unless you undo the whole strap through the buckle, you can't remove it from down here. It's through like a little plastic slot. And so I found when I did multi-days, this really gets in the way. You're trying to shove stuff through there, and there's no great way to get the back band out of the way. It's also a pretty low deck height, and so it was you were really squeezing like Fuda bags in there, and then there's room back there, but it's really tight to get them through here. With the goat and the wakas, you've got really nice clean access through these clips. So you just pop these off and you can actually take them off the bottom too. You just come off those ropes and then that whole thing literally comes all the way up to here. So super nice open access into the back. They've also got a fairly high deck height, which I don't love for rolling and leaning back, but it is really nice for accessing the stern. And then Jackson, you've got that one clip that you can undo and it does open up pretty far out of the way even though you can't really bring it forward. So pretty good stern access. All right, let's talk about stern loops um, because that's something that I'm using all the time for securing gear. I usually have one small dry bag with me that's got a pin kit and some safety stuff in it. And then on the other side, I've been putting a waterproof container that um, I keep a walkie-talkie and a Garmin inReach mini in there and then often give the other walkie-talkie to somebody else in the in our group these grab handles are really nice on the dagger like I think they've got the nicest ones by far um, they're coated and they're right in the corner so just super easy to access if we look at the piranha it's also coated it's a little bit further up on the side and I think it's nicer to have them down here in the corner versus up here. It's a little harder to get at these sometimes. With Waka, you're essentially using that strap 
which the seat is kind of pulling. So when you attach it, it's pulled tight. So it can be a little bit annoying to try to get something to hook on there. With Jackson, grab handles here and they've got reflective in them, which I think is a nice touch. And that's the case throughout all of the rope system, which I didn't really touch on. But as far as all of this goes, like that's obviously the biggest difference between Jackson and these other manufacturers as far as overall outfitting is that they're using a rope system where all three of these are using a ratchet system. I've never had issues with the ropes. They've always stayed secure. I know sometimes people have to kind of clamp this cleat down as it gets a little bit loose over time, but I've actually never had them slip. You want to kind of lock them in and then push back. That said, I do probably prefer a ratchet just because I feel like it's a little more locked in. And then the very last thing I want to talk about is drain plugs all the way at the back of the boat. So dagger molded in, piranha not molded in and has had issues. You can check out my video on the major drain plug issues that they had there. I had to fix my ozone and my scorch. Goat molded in. This uses the same drain plug threads actually as the dagger. Jackson is also molded in and there are a few different iterations of the Jackson plug. I like to keep a few different plugs in my kit and have helped out a few people on the river before who have lost theirs. I hope that helped everybody out. Please throw anything in the comments that I've forgotten or if you have thoughts about any of this. Thanks for hanging with me today. We'll see you on the river.